Salt is an essential substance in our everyday lives, ranging from its use on icy roads to food seasoning. Looking at salt through a large magnifying glass, we see that the crystals are cuboid in shape. Salt consists of regular cuboid crystals of chloride ions and sodium ions. However, until now, nobody has seen how these crystals are formed. Capturing the moment of crystallization. In 2021, a research group in the Department of Chemistry at the University of Tokyo was able to record the formation of a salt crystal on video using an electron microscope, the first in the world to do so. Usually, an electron microscope only shows a still image. However, in 2007, this research team was the first in the world to film organic molecules, which constantly change shape with each passing moment. Now, let's look at how salt crystals are formed using an electron microscope. First, a carbon nanotube is used as a tiny container to prevent the molecules from escaping. Then, a saline solution is poured into the nanotube. The water is then removed using a vacuum, which we can observe using this electron microscope. The images obtained show the growth of an NaCl or sodium chloride crystal repeated nine times for 152 seconds in a conical-shaped carbon nanotube. First, sodium ions and chloride ions bind at the top of the carbon nanotube and become progressively larger. The size of each crystal is one nanometer. That is to say, one billionth of a meter. This is about 100,000 times smaller than the thickness of a human hair. We can see here that a 4 by 6 rectangular crystal nucleus is formed. The ions fluctuate between a completely unordered state and a partly ordered state. The crystal nucleus appears to be rectangular, but in reality it is actually a cuboid. It consists of 96 ions in total. Once formed, the crystal's nuclei grow larger while moving toward the wider side of the conical nanotube. These crystal nuclei appear nine times successively, creating the exact same size every time. However, in the growth process after the crystal leaves the carbon nanotube, we find no regularity in the size of the crystal. This is considered to be the same as the irregularity of the size of crystals that normally grow in water. The electron microscope used for this video imaging is located in the Molecular Life Innovation Building in the Hongo campus of the University of Tokyo. By using this electron microscope, 
it is possible to create continuous video imaging at a speed of 1,600 images per second, with an accuracy of less than 0.1 nanometer. In order to ensure that the electron microscope functions accurately in this room, we need to minimize external influences, such as vibration and magnetism. Also, image processing technology has been developed to enable the video to be filmed at high speed, so it can be seen clearly. Two types of software have also been developed for high-speed processing of the massive volumes of data collected. The first one reduces the noise to give us a clear view at 1,600 images per second. The second piece of software creates an even clearer image by averaging the overlapping noise images. This is the research group in the Department of Chemistry at the University of Tokyo, who have succeeded in recording the moment of formation of a regular crystal nucleus from a state of disorder, using advanced technology and a nanoscale container. <laughs>